Michelle here. Uh, time for a review video of sneakers, sneaker review video of my all time favorites, the Hoka Clifton's, and then I'm going to be comparing them to the new on running Cloud Monster sneakers that I've recently been trying out. But first off, I just want to say welcome to the new Hey Girl Run offices. This is the space where I will be filming things from now on and this is where uh, most of our inventory is going to be. We do small batches and everything that we make. So this is this is it girls. I'm so excited. Um, okay, so to start, let's get into it. First, Let's talk about the OGs, my favorite running sneakers ever, the Hoka Clifton's. I think these are the, Clif the Clifton 8's, so it's just like every new model and like variation of the style that they come out with. Um, I've loved Hoka's ever since um, I was actually introduced to them when their very first collab with Outdoor Voices came out and that's when I started wearing them. But here we are. These are some of the newer ones. This is a newer color. It's like white on white on white, but it's off-white and I love it. But also like if you get sneakers dirty, they're, they're kind of dirty. You can't really tell because they're off-white, but yeah, anyway. These are my favorite sneakers by far for my foot, just with my step, with how I run, all of that. Like these are my go-to. I have literally never had a problem when I wear them. I don't have to break them in. They are just like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it, it's a bold statement, but they are just the most perfect running sneakers ever of all time. And yeah, like I stand by that. So these ones are the white ones I forget the exact color but I will put it in the comments and they are just the best of the best they are my favorite I've literally never had a problem no matter if I'm running one mile 10 miles 15 miles any of that I haven't I will preface I have not run a marathon I don't think I've run over 15 miles in the Hoka Clifton's but for what I do and like 30 minute hour long runs these are my favorite these are the best the best of the best for me um, and I say that because everyone's foot is slightly different so when you're looking at sneakers and when you're trying on sneakers like just know that just because they work for me doesn't mean they're gonna work for you and my big thing is if sneakers are causing me pain at any point in time if it's immediately causing me pain if it's like a couple times after wearing them that cause me pain like I'm done. I stop wearing them because it's not worth it. Like the pain is not worth it and pain isn't normal. It's just that a certain sneaker or a certain step or a fit just like isn't right for you. And so with that, like girls, please do not try and put yourself through the pain of like breaking in sneakers or wearing sneakers that hurt you because they're like the cool sneakers that everyone's wearing. Like it's a hundred percent not worth it. But with that being said, that's why these are my favorite is because I have had zero issues with them ever. Um, and just to kind of go over the sizing, I am a seven and a half in my sneakers in most brands. In Hoka's, because they run big, I am a size seven. And so if I am a seven and a half in say, these on Cloud Monsters, I am a size seven in the Hoka Clifton's. So now let's get into it. Comparison of, wait, I gotta get the shot. We gotta get the shot. Hoka Clifton's versus on Cloud Monsters. Okay, so <laughs> I probably should have looked up the exact stats of each of the sneakers before doing this, but I'm just gonna talk about it based on the feeling and sensations that I get when I'm wearing them and the comparisons of like the fit for me of each one. So with the Hoka Clifton's, as I said, I don't have to break them in. They fit perfectly to my foot. I could immediately start running in them and not have any issues whatsoever. For the Cloud Monsters, the way that my foot fits in these shoes, they're different than any other shoe I've ever worn. And the reason I say that is because of the drop. It's a bit more of a drop and it's like, okay, 
the way that they feel is basically the shoe like forms to your foot a bit but the drop is bigger they have a bigger drop than what i'm used to and what the cliftons have if i'm saying that correctly and the way that these feel on my foot there's like this insane feeling on the ball of my foot of like a cushion like i don't know just a wild like good feeling where like these shoes feel so different and I highly recommend going to a running store or going to a store that has these just to try them on because it truly is unlike any shoe I've ever worn, like across the board, which is wild because I feel like I've worn a lot of them. Um, but with these, with the drop that they have, for some reason, they actually push my foot and my toes forward. So I don't like them for walking. And because of that, it's like when you're walking, you're more so like stepping. Whereas when you're running, you're kind of, you're on the ball of your foot. So your step is like naturally inclined, inclined, I think is the right way to say it. So it's like easier to run on them and it like feels super comfortable. Like these are amazing for me to run in, but when I'm walking, my foot feels like it's getting pushed forward. And so my toes start jamming. I don't know, like maybe I'm not tying the laces right or i'm actually half size bigger but i had the issue with the on running cloud stratus i think i actually sized up and instead of seven and a half which is what i have in these i got a size eight and i could just tell they were too big but they're so comfortable and super easy to run in but with these i was like okay they run true to size like i'm just gonna get seven and a half that's my true size and now i'm like uh, did I? Should I need like a 7.75, not seven and a half? I don't know. But they're super lightweight. They have this like, yeah, this wild feeling on the ball of your foot. Um, they do feel like the toe box is. I don't know if it looks like it, but the toe box feels a little bit more narrow than the Hoka's, just like the regular Hoka's. At least that's the feeling that I get. And then I also, with all of my on sneakers, I don't know if this is like just me or it happens to other people, but I feel like when I'm stepping, it like, it kind of like steps in, whereas with Hoka, it steps flat. And so like this part, it like is over a bit more, I don't know. But with all of that being said, they're super comfortable in the heel. The tongue is really comfortable. It's like, it's pretty thin. It's just like, I don't know, it's nice. Um, yeah, so the heel, like the way that the Hoka one basically is like, oh my gosh, I need more hands for this. Okay, so the Hoka one goes out, which for me and for my heel and my Achilles is like amazing, it's perfect. For these ones, they, don't obviously have like such an extreme um, setup as the Hoka ones, but this like doesn't bother my back heel at all. Like they fit very comfortably. And these are just like an all around like great shoe. Like I could wear them all day. The only thing is that if I'm like walking and not actually running, then it feels like my toes touch the front a little bit too much. Otherwise they're amazing. Um, so for actually running, they're really comfortable because I'm running more so on the ball of my foot. It just, it feels really nice and natural. And because they have a different drop from these, I'm working different muscles. And so something that I actually posted it on TikTok and I was like, hold up, wait a minute. Like, is this supposed to be happening? Because when you're trying out different shoes, right? So I've like, these are the OGs. These are what I always run in. This is what my body's used to. I put this on and I go for a run. It didn't hurt, but it felt like it was like working and pulling things that, not pulling, but like working new muscles that I'm not used to in my like legs and knees. And so I, I posted it on TikTok and I was like, girls, does this happen to you? Is this normal? Like, what's the deal? Because basically if I have a shoe that I put on and my knees immediately start hurting, I know that like that is not the right shoe for me. Like you should not have instant pain when you're wearing certain shoes. And so that actually happens to me with the Hoka Rincons 
just because it's a certain step, just because it's like the way that that shoe fits me, it's just not for me. And that's okay. With these, I actually had the opposite problem where obviously my foot wasn't used to it, but after my run, like different parts of my knees were feeling a little bit like more worked and tight. And I was like, huh, this is interesting. And so what really needs to happen and like what I've been in the process of doing is basically taking and source TikTok from a couple of um, like our Hey Girl Run followers who are certified um, to be giving this information, physical therapists, orth orthopedic, or whatever people who deal with the feet. Um, they basically said it takes about a two week period of breaking in new shoes where I'm not really sure if it's like you need to only be wearing this shoe for those two weeks and building up to where you were in the other shoe or if it's like switching off getting your foot used to both of them tbd on that I am not a medical professional so please do not take what I say as like the tr the whole truth and nothing else but definitely for yourself, look into if you're trying out a different type of shoe, like that buildup period of actually breaking that shoe in. Not just like, is it comfortable or not when I first put it on? It's like actually getting your body and your foot used to that shoe. So with that being said, love these Cloud Monsters for running, for short runs and for like quick sprints and training in that sense. Um, my Hoka Clifton's, girls, I, I still can't find anything better. Like these are my OGs, these are my go-tos, this is what I will run in maybe until I die. But like, these are it for me. Whereas these are definitely fun and I really like the fact that I'm able to work different muscles in my legs while still getting a great workout and not feeling any pain. So highly recommend the uh, Cloud Monsters and definitely go try them on just to experience that like crazy difference in them because it's wild. Like it's amazing. I love it. Um, for walking, they aren't for me, but that's okay. And they're great for running. So girls, with all of that being said, let me know in the comments if you have any questions about sizing, fit, styles, colors, like Hoka shoes, on running shoes. I've tried a couple, I've tried three different styles of on running shoes um, so far. And then I've, I've tried so many of the Hoka ones. So if you want a different comparison, if you want just a more in-depth breakdown of any of the specific sneaker, let me know in the comments and if you liked this video if you found it helpful like the video uh follow along on youtube follow our channel hey girl run um don't forget to find us on instagram tiktok we're everywhere tiktok is like the go-to i post videos every single day um i love tiktok and i love to connect with all of you so girls like, subscribe, do all the things, leave a comment if you like the video, if you have questions, anything like that. And girls, I'll see you next time.